if you are taking your Kel1 class, then you are going to encounter this kind of limit. And uh, this is definitely not the friendliest limit because it just looks so intimidating, right? But don't worry, I'm going to show you guys how to take care of this. I have done a video giving you guys all the details already. So in this video, I'll just give you guys a quick version of it. And yes, we will be using our shirt. Anyway, the goal is that we are going to first rewrite this in the form of the limit as n goes to infinity and then the summation. And let's use i for the index. i goes from 1 to n. And then here, we need to be able to pick out the function. And the notation for now is just f of xi. And you will see that I put a star right here. Don't worry too much about the star because it just means that technically, when you are doing the so-called rectangle sum or the Riemann sum, you do not have to put a right end point toward the end. You can use like different kind of rectangles, such as the midpoint rectangle, uh, to uh, do the approximation to do the area. But anyway, though, that's just a little notation. And then lastly, we have to have the so-called delta x. What's this for? Well, this right here is just that we can rewrite this as an integral going from a to b and a function, and the delta x will turn into a dx. So the idea is that, well actually, let me tell you guys what the delta x first. This delta x, you can see that right here, we will be able to somehow determine the function. Right? You have to just do it carefully. But it's not going to tell you the interval right, from a to b, from where to where. It's all from the delta x, because the delta x is equal to b minus a over n. What exactly this means is that, when we have an interval a to b, we want the area under the curve. Let's say this is y equals f of x. Let's say this is our region. We want the area. And to do so, we are going to cut this into n piece, equal width rectangle. And as I said earlier, we can use the right end point. Just to be consistent, most of the time, these kind of questions are based on the right end point rectangle like so. So, this right here, the width, which is exactly the delta x, and that's exactly b minus a over n. All right, so now, what we are going to do with this is that we will go back here and then rewrite it in terms of this form. So, here we go. Um, we can see that they are just adding. That's why we can use a sigma for it. OK, so let's see. This is going to be the limit as n goes to infinity. And then let's see. We have the sigma. i goes from 1 to n. So far, so good. But what exactly is the i? Well, we have to pay attention to what are the things that are changing. 2, 4, 6, so on, so on, so on, up to 2n. So pay attention to the 2 right here. This 2 means we have 2 times 1. And then the 4 means 2 times 2. And then the 6 means 2 times 3. And then lastly, we have the 2 times n. And the reason that we are doing so is because i goes from 1 to n, meaning i is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to n. So that's the idea. So we can rewrite this as 2 over n plus 2i. Right? So that's just a small change. That's how we can put this into the sigma notation, which is the limit all the way at the front, of course. So that's pretty cool. But the thing is that we do not know what the function is yet. Why? Because um, what's the input? Though? For the input, pay attention to the xi, meaning that you should be able to see i over n somewhere. Okay? Well, maybe some number in the front sometimes. So that's the hint. But more importantly, though, we should be able to see the delta x first. And for delta x, we better see the over n. Okay? So how can we make that happen? Here is the n. Let's factor out the n. So when we do so, we are just going to get n times 1 plus 2, and then here we have the i, and then over n. Because it's kind of like we divide it by the n right here, right? We factor out the n. And perhaps, let's put this as 2i over n, and you are going to see why. Now, we have 2 over n 
we can factor that. And usually when we are doing this kind of question, we like to put the delta x in between of the limit and also the sigma. Why? It looks nicer somehow, I, well, it looks more interpreting somehow. But I'm going to show you guys both ways to write it. Either we write it as the limit as n goes to infinity, 2 over n, so let me just put it here, right, 2 over n. And then the rest, which is the sigma i goes from 1 to n, and then the rest is 1 over 1 plus 2i over n. Okay, I'm not kidding, this is how the question has to be presented. But it's definitely okay if you want to say this as the limit as n goes to infinity, and then let me just erase all this right here. Yeah, I don't need that anymore. Because once we have this, as we mentioned earlier, we'll turn this into an integral. We can also have this as the limit as you know, n goes to infinity, i goes from 1 to n, and then just put this, which is 1 over 2 plus 1 plus 2i over n, and then times the 2 over n at the end. Yeah, trust me, most of the time, if the question is given to you in a sigma notation form, then you are going to expect to see this kind of uh, expression written in that. But you should know that they are the same. And they are the same is because in this summation, i is the running index. So if a term that does not have the i, it can be brought to the front of the sigma or the inside. Doesn't matter. Okay, so now this right here, let's look at the 2 over i. The 2 tells us b minus a equals 2. Meaning that when we are talking about the region, it can be going from 0 to 2. Start with 0. That's much easier. Just use that. Or you can go from 1 to 3 or 15 to 17. So that's why this 2 is important. And the reason that I put the 2 at the front along with the n is because here I also noticed that we have the 2 i over n. All right. Once we have this form, I will tell you the integral that we are going to get is integral start with 0 up to 2 and then this right here is going to tell you the function and the structure of it is just 1 over 1 plus well we have the uh, 2i over n but here we have the 2 right 2 and 2 match so this whole thing is the x and then the x and that's pretty much how to change it. So usually it might be hard to see. If so, then I would suggest you guys to do the following. Just go ahead and start with what your region is and start with your integral and then try to work backwards. 1 over 1 plus x, the graph will look like this. right? And then we are going from 0 to 2. right? That's my claim. And I'm just going to show you that this will indeed work. Here is the region. Well, we are going to use n equal width rectangles, meaning that each width is going to be 2 over n. So if you look at the picture, we can have a rectangle right here, right? And uh, because the width is 2 over n, so that means from here to here is the x value just 2 over n. How do we get the height? We put the 2 over n into the x, and you see, we will just get 1 over 1 plus. 2 over n here. And what's this? That's precisely this expression when i is equal to 1. You see, when we have the 2 right here, 2 right here, uh, the whole thing is the x. Let's try another one. The next rectangle will look something something like this. But you go up 2 over n again, so the, new, so the x value here is 4 over n. And when we put 4 over n, n here, that's precisely what? This expression, when i is equal to 2, we have the 4 over n. Huh? All right, so that's the idea. Then so on, so on, so on. So you can see that this right here is in fact equal to that. All right, so lastly, we just have to compute this. And it's not bad at all, because the integral of this is just ln of 1 plus x. And we don't need absolute value because we're just going from 0 to 2. And then, of course, do the usual business, we're just going to plugging, plugging, but when we plug in 0, ln1 is equal to 0, so the final answer is just ln 
one plus two, which is three. As I, well, I haven't told you that yet, but like that's the answer, right? So this kind of limit, um, it's not so bad, I'll tell you. More practice will definitely be helpful. So check out my other video if you haven't seen my um, explanation from the previous video. So more practice. Yeah, hopefully.